Okay, so I didn't want to, but I figured, what the hell, let's just get it out of the way. I know it's the same shirt, same day. Uh, I'm going to talk about T.J. Klune's novel, Burn. It's the first in the Elementally Involved trilogy, from what I understand. Um, I'm going to start off with what I'm going to give this. I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10. Um, there were many things to love about this book, and for me, there were also a lot of things that I did not like about the book. Um, but not enough that it kept me from finishing it. And the f I will tell you that that, like, the ending, like, everything from, like, like the rising action down to, you know, to the climax, and then the epilogue was, I was on the edge of my seat, biting my nail, like, oh my god, I'm cold, oh my god. Um, but there were some things that just took away from me enjoying it completely, and I'll, it just, I'll just start off with that. I, the dialogue I felt was very heavy at times, um, too much, just too much talking, not enough, uh, action or really characterization. Um, uh, that being said, I, 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 I didn't like, I kind of didn't like that none of the characters really grew, um, other than Felix, and he didn't change by much, um, yeah, things getting wrapped around itself, um, that, uh, the characters were all very fun, like TikTok, Otis, I loved Otis, Otis was like, he made the book for me, I loved Otis, he's, um, he was a great character, very loyal, very simple because of an injury that he got. Um, and the perfect friend. I, um, but it was about Felix, and Felix was a young elemental, and in this in this world, the elementals are pretty much like a like a euphemism for homosexuals, from <laughs> based on my understanding. And I certainly wouldn't be surprised if that was the case, um, which is genius and awesome. I could be wrong, but that's just what I feel. Um, and they they can control the elements very much like you know Avatar Legend of the Last you know the Last Airbender the, um, the Nickelodeon series which he might have gotten his inspiration from that which is awesome too um, uh, but yeah it's they, they like have this magic and they can control the elements and there are these elementals and there is um, Felix our main character Felix is a uh, split he's a split he's the split one he can do both fire and air elementals and that is that is like there's only one, like, of those people, and so people are trying, these, this group of people are trying to keep him safe because he has some destiny to destroy the darkness, and crazy, this is crazy. That is what the thing, that is one of the things I love about fantasy, is that sometimes you have to stop, and you have to be like, oh my god, this is insane, which this book very much was. It was insane, and it was so intense. Um, but I, I didn't feel... I didn't gain a connection to the characters. I loved the characters, but I didn't feel like... There wasn't a connection there. I felt like all these characters were already fully fleshed out, and there that there wasn't room to grow. Um, uh, that's what I felt. So that took away a lot of it from me from really enjoying the characters, but as I said, they were all very fun and they had their own little like quirks and traits and how they spoke and tick and talk were so much fun. You know why I did that if you read the book. Um Yeah, yeah, it was it was a it was a good book. I finished it. I don't know if I'll read the second one. I might. Um mostly because my to read pile is just it's getting out of hand, and I don't know what to do. Uh, I would give this, like I said, like a 7 out of 10. I would give it an 8 out of 10. Um, I don't know. I'm conflicted about this. It was a good book, but there were some things I didn't like. I do not think it, it takes away from the talent of T.J. Klune. I just felt that, you know, they were just... What he wanted to add wasn't what I was looking for at the time. We'll see if that changes in the future. I might, I mean, I'll probably read the second book, maybe, if I can. But I'll start with some of his other stuff that he's written. Like, I've already read Into This River I Drown, which I did a review about, and it was awesome, and so sad. And this one was pretty, kind of sad, too. Um, and we'll say something about Seven. Seven is one of the, love in, is the love interest of Felix, and he is just, like, a hunk of a man. Like, nice two thumbs up for that guy, because he sounds hot. Uh, yeah. Don't know where that was.